I've got a brand new WordPress installation. I've got a brand new WordPress theme, completely blank, the most simple theme you could imagine. And we're gonna install Tailwind version 4.0. So we're just gonna go through the instructions on the Tailwind website. The first thing we are gonna need to do because we don't have a package.json is we're gonna create one. So we're gonna say npm init. And because I'm lazy, just do dash y and it will just create it for you. Um, and that's gonna create that. And that's gonna allow us to install the npm packages that we need to. So let's go to Tailwind website and we're gonna use the Tailwind CLI. So go to that and we're just gonna copy this command here and run it in the root of our theme. And that is gonna install Tailwind and the Tailwind CLI. Okay, that's done. So next thing we wanna do is we're gonna create this input.css file and we're gonna paste that into that. So they put it in a SRC folder. So we're gonna do exactly the same as what they do just so we know that it works. So we're gonna say mkdir to make a directory, src. And then we're gonna just create a new file called input.css in there. And we're gonna paste that import into there. So we're gonna save that. Next thing we need to do is do the build process. So we're just gonna copy that, paste that, and run that command. And hopefully this is gonna generate another file up here with a bit of luck. And the file that gets created here is what we're gonna actually include, there it is, in our theme. So that has been created. So what we're gonna do now is come to our functions.php and we're just gonna enqueue that script. So we're gonna say wp enqueue style, should I say, style. I'm just gonna say tailwind output. This can be anything you want. This is just for your reference. And we're gonna say get template directory U uh, I. So this is just going to get the path to our theme. And then we're going to say source. I'm not sure if it's back a forward slash source, but we will find out very shortly. And we're going to say output.css. Save that. No, put a colon, semicolon, and then save that. And now if we come to our theme and look down here, it's very small. So we're looking on network tab, CSS, zoom in a little bit, refresh that. And if it's worked, we will see our output down here. It has worked, but we obviously don't see much of a change. Well, you have seen a change actually. You can see that the font has changed, but let's actually put a tailwind class in to see it working. So if we come here and we say class equals background red 500, save that and watch that automatically update down there, which is amazing. So now all we need to do is refresh the page and it will have a red background behind all the H1 tags. And that is how you install Tailwind in WordPress. That is Tailwind 4.0. Thanks very much. The end.